Hi, uh, uh, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. This is what we call a Pokemon. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon at times as friendly playmates and at times as cooperative workmates. And sometimes we band together and battle others like us. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel the Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I do. I, I do research, yes. And uh, 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 you are? Are you a boy or a girl? Um, a uh, uh, boy? Alright, what's your name? Uh, my name's Athais, but uh, wh what, what exactly is happening here? Because, like, there's just darkness everywhere and I'm... Wait, this, this is strange. Yeah, but yeah, I, I'm a thice. So it's a thice. Yeah, yeah, I said it's it's a, a thice. Ah, uh, okay. Um, so you're a thice who's moving to my hometown of Little Root. I get it now. W well, at least one of us gets it. All right, are you ready? Your very own venture is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon, where dreams, adventure, and friendships await. Well, I'll be expecting you later. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. Um. Uh, okay, that, uh, whoa, I, uh, okay, where am I? Uh, what is happening right now? Why? It... Um, okay, that was a weird dream. I am in a moving truck? What? Wh why am I in the back of a moving truck? Thice, we're here, honey. It must be tiring riding without things in the moving truck. No kidding. We were in the back of a moving truck? How irresponsible is that? I mean, who puts their kid in the back of a moving truck? Well, this is Little Root Town. How do you like it? This is our new home. It is a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room, Thice. Let's go inside. M my own room. Like the room you gave me on the way here. At in the back of a moving truck. See it, Thais? Isn't it nice in here, too? Move as Pokemon do all the work of moving us in and cleaning up after this. This is so convenient. Thais, your room's upstairs. Go check it out, dear. Dad bought you a new clock to mark our move view. Don't forget to set it. Um, uh, okay. Guy, guy, I don't think that's helping. Just, just put the box down. Okay, never mind. You, you do what you want. Alrighty. Alrighty guys, so welcome to our Let's Play of Pokemon Emerald. Yeah, that was a bit of a weird start, but let's get this thing going. We are in the Hoenn region, ladies and gentlemen, which is a region that we have never been in before. Now, I've played this game before, but uh, this is the first time for this channel. And as always, the first thing we want to do in these older games is withdraw a potion from the PC. And check out the map. So this is the Hoenn region. This is where our adventures will take place. And let us set the clock. Alrighty, let's set a random time, and we're gonna just spin the clock around, and there. Matthias, how do you like in your room? Good, everything's put away neatly. They finished moving everything in downstairs too. Pokemon movers are so convenient. Oh, you should make sure that everything's all there on your desk. Uh, well, the, the computer, and there's this book thing. Uh, adventure rules, which are very incomplete because there's only two pages of them. Oh, Athais! Quick, come quickly! Uh, yeah? Look, it's Paleberg Jim! Maybe Dad will be on! We bought you this report from in front of Paleberg Jim. Oh, it's, it's over. Um, I think Dad was on, but we missed him. Too bad. Oh yes, one of Dad's friends lives in town. Professor Birch is his name. He lives right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. Alrighty, so right next door, right? Well, let's head out the door then. Alrighty. Alrighty, so we're outside in the outdoors. 
and we can go back indoors like that <laughs> now what we want to do is we want to go to next door which is over here and this lady sees us and tries to stop us oh he hello and you are oh you're you're a thice our next door neighbor hi uh, we have a daughter about the same age as you our daughter was excited about making a new friend our daughter is upstairs i think um do you just want me to go up okay uh, I, I don't see your daughter here. Oh my gosh! Did she get sucked into the Pokeball? No, oh, oh okay. I, I was just worried you got sucked into the- Huh? Who are you? Uh, oh, so you're a Thice. So your move was today? Um, I'm May. Glad to meet you. I, I, I have this dream of becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. I, I heard about you, Thice, from my dad, Professor Birch. I was hoping that you would be nice, Athice, and that we could be friends. Oh, this is silly, isn't it? I, I've just met you, Athice. <laughs> um, oh no, I, I forgot. I was supposed to go help Dad catch some wild Pokemon. Athice, I'll catch you later. Um. Okay, she, she didn't get sucked into Pokeball, but that w was a bit of a strange conversation. She, hi. Pokemon fully restored. Items ready, Anne. Wait, didn't you say you needed to help you die with some Pokemon? And I, now you're just sitting there? Um, um, wow. Give him the cold shoulder. Alrighty, well, out we go. So, her dad is supposed to be in the lab. But he is not here. So, what we need to do is come out this way. Also, we have nice little green things on our shoes. <laughs> nice little green stripes. If you use a PC, you can store items and Pokemon. The power of science is staggering. I, I guess so. Alrighty. Um, hi. There are scary Pokemon outside. I can hear their cries. I want to see what's going on, but I don't have any Pokemon. Can you go see what's happening for me? Um, I don't have any Pokemon either, but sure. Okay. <laughs> Help me! Oh, it's the guy from our dream. What? He's getting chased by a Zigzagoon. Hello, you over there. Please help. In my bag, there's a Pokeball. Uh, okay. Uh, can I just... Where are you going? Don't leave me like this. I'm not going anywhere. I just wanted to help you, but okay. Guess we have to do this. Alrighty, guys. So we have to choose which Pokemon to use. And with a little bit of advice from my friend, I've decided to go with Torchic. Alrighty. So we are going to be using Torchic for this playthrough. And he has got a Zigzagoon. Oh, well, there's a wild Zigzagoon here. And we are going to scratch this thing into submission. Alrighty, it's growling. Now, there is a chance of this Zigzagoon being shiny. And if that was the case, you could never catch it, because you don't have any Pokeballs. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> Alrighty, so that Zigzagoon is down. And we get some experience points. Phew, I was in the tall grass studying wild Pokemon when I was jumped. You saved me. Thanks a lot. Oh, uh, oh, hi, your thighs. Yes, uh, I was in your dreams earlier. This is not the place to chat, so come by my Pokemon lab, okay? Ah, oh, so with ice, I've heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. But by the way that you battled earlier, you pulled it off with a plum. Which which is a fancy word, just meaning you, you did great, son. You did great. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. Ah, oh, yes. As thanks for rescuing me, I'd like you to have the Pokemon that you used earlier. We get the Torchic. While you're at it, why not give a nickname to that Torchic? Why not? Why not indeed? This Torchic's name is going to be... Pyre. If I can get to the letters. There we go. If you work at Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make an extremely good trainer. My kid May is also studying with Pokemon to help me out. Athais, don't you think it might be a good idea to go and see May? Yeah, I guess so. Great, May should be happy too. Get May to teach you what it means to be a trainer. Okay, I'll do that. So we have to go out and see May. So let's head on up then. Um, now, for those of you that don't know, she is all the way up here. Like, quite a way up here. So we got a bit of a walk ahead of us. Wild Pokemon will jump out at you in tall grass. If you want to catch Pokemon, you have to go into the tall grass and search. If you say so, fella. I don't particularly want to run into any wild Pokemon, but it can't be helped sometimes. Okay, so we got a Wurmple, which is new to this generation. Uh, it is a bug type, and it can evolve in two different ways. It can either evolve into a Carscoon or a Silcoon. 
we shall not be using Wimple in our journey, so we shall just uh, get this one for its experience. It's actually very interesting, this whole split evolution thing. It's a relatively new mechanic, but uh, yeah. There we go. It's basically like Eevee, but with, without the stones. <laughs> it uses other mechanics to determine it. Alrighty. If Pokemon get tired, take them to a Pokemon Center. There's a Pokemon Center in Old Dale Town right close by. Oh. Alrighty, we get another Wormpool. So, we are going to get some more experience with Pyre here. Pyre, ignite your fire and scratch. <laughs> Fortunately, this one doesn't just like uh, lower our defenses or our attack the whole time, so we can actually get some damage done on it. And we grow to level 6. Jolly good, Pyre. Alrighty, so if we come up this way, we get into Odile Town. And if we go into the Pokemon Center, we can get healed up. Yes, please. There we go. All nice and healed. Alrighty, so let's head on back out. And what we want to do is we want to come over here. Uh, wait, uh, please don't come in here. I just discovered the footprints of a rare Pokemon. Wait until I finish sketching them, okay? <laughs> Alrighty, so we can't go that way. What we do want to do, though, is we want to talk to this person over here. Hi, I work at a Pokemart. Can I get you to come with me? Sure. This is a Pokemart. Just look out for our blue roof. We sell a variety of goods, including Pokeballs for catching Pokemon. Here, I'd like you to have this as a promotion item. And we get a potion. A potion can be used anytime, so it's even more useful than a Pokemon Center in certain situations. I guess so. Alrighty, so we need to head on up into the wilderness again to Route 103. And there's this kid here, next to this patch of water. My Pokemon is staggeringly tired, I should have brought a potion. Now this would be a great opportunity for a side quest where we could actually give the potion to this kid, but we can't. So we need to carry on. <laughs> And up there, in clothes very similar to ours, is May. So let's go say hi to May. Hi, May. Let's see, the Pokemon found on Route 103 include... Thice! You're a Pokemon? Oh, oh never mind. Oh, hi, Thice. Uh, oh, I, I see. My, my dad gave you po Pokemon as a gift? Um, since we're here, let's have a quick battle. I'll give you a taste of what being a trainer is like. Um, okay. Well, I don't have much choice. Let's do this. Alrighty, so we have to battle me. And she's got a Mudkip. As all good uh, rivals should, she starts out with the Pokemon that is strong against ours. So we need to prove our metal and take it down nonetheless. Right, and unfortunately it's starting out by doing more damage than us, so that is not good, even though we are level higher. Let's just keep scratching and hope that the random numbers are in our favor. Okay. And yes, we get a critical hit. Well done, Pyre. Good job. Nice, we get to level 7. And learn Focus Energy. Wow, that's great. Athais, you're, you're pretty good. Well, thanks, mate. I think I know why my dad has an eye out for you now. I mean, you just got that Pokemon, but it already likes you. You might be able to prevent any kind of Pokemon easily. Well, it's time to head back to the lab. I guess it is. Alrighty, well, let's head back to the lab then. And we can power walk all the way down. Move those legs. Move those legs. Thice, over here. Let's hurry home. Okay, May. <laughs> I like how she meets us like halfway, just in case we get lost. And we can just jump down the cliffs. Why not? Okay. Into Little Root Town. Oh, hi, Dice. Um, I heard that you beat May on your first try. That's excellent. May's been helping with my research for a long time. May has an extensive history as a trainer already. Here, Dice, I ordered this for my research, but I think you should have this Pokedex. And we get a Pokedex. The Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My kid, May, goes everywhere with it. Whenever my kid catches a rare Pokemon and records his data in the Pokedex, why, May looks for me while I'm out and doing field work and shows it to me. Oh, wow, Athice. You got a Pokedex, too? 
That's great. Just like me. I've got something for you, too. And we get the poke Pokeballs from May. And we put the Pokeballs in the pocket. Yay! We got Pokeballs. We can now catch Pokemon. It's fun if you can get a lot of Pokemon. I gotta look all over the place because I want different Pokemon. If I find any cute Pokemon, I'll catch them with my Pokeballs. Alrighty. Well, I guess she's building a team based around cute Pokemon then. We're gonna be going for strengths. Let's see which prevails in the end. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, let's head on out. Oh, wait a Thice. Thice, a Thice. Did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? Oh, what an adorable Pokemon. You got it from Professor Birch? How nice. You're your father's child, alright. You look good together with Pokemon. Here, honey, if you're going out on an adventure, wear these running shoes. They'll put a zip in your step. At Thais, these shoes came with instructions. Press the B button while wearing these running shoes to run extra fast. Slip on these running shoes and race in the great outdoors. To think that you have your very own Pokemon now, your father will be overjoyed. But please be careful. If anything happens, you can come home. Go on. Go get them, honey. Wow. Thanks, Mom. That was very nice of you. Alrighty. So we can carry on our merry way. We've got the running shoes now. So let's have a look at our buddy, Pyre, and see what he's like. Alrighty. So Pyre has a doctile nature, or docile nature. And the level seven with all the moves. Okay. Um, how are the stats looking, actually? Eh, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Okay, so we have got our buddy Pyre, and we are going to set out on our journey now that we can run around. Running is so much better than walking, <laughs> in the games especially. Are you going to catch Pokemon? Good luck. Professor Birch spends his days in his lab studying. Then he'll suddenly go out into the wild to do more research. When does Professor Birch spend time at home? When indeed. When will these mysteries be solved? What awaits us in our journey as we head on out away from home ourselves? And who is this mysterious Professor Birch? <laughs> no, we, we know who Professor Birch is, but... Anyway, tune in next time for another exciting episode of Pokemon Emerald Version with myself, Thice. To all of you, I wish you a good night and God bless.